Hey guys, this is the branch vlog for 0.2.0.0 This one, so I've just finished it today and uh, it's quite an extensive Not so much rewrite as kind of like an upgrade tweak of several levels also including uh, the hallway So we'll start from the top because there's a fair bit to go through so I've typed, I've typed it manually as you can tell. I rearrange levels, so let's just you know I'll change it on the fly. Right, okay. So rearrange levels to match game map. So let me just get the game map up for you. And then I will load up the hallway level first. So firstly, uh, let's get it on that, let's get, on, sorry, get it on unlit, which doesn't seem to be doing its shortcut. Yeah, all three. Hmm, it's not doing it, I think it's got Photoshop, must be overruling it. Okay, so. Right, so you see this is the main hallway and then it, it, there's like a there's like a fork, so you see it goes up and it goes down, so lower, upper in this case. Lower domes is actually in the middle, so technically it should just be domes, but don't know about that. So it's not completely the same yet, but one second, let me just get the tabs working quickly. So we've got the protagonist's bedroom, we've got the hallway which currently has those extra bits in, the lower dorms is there, there is Sarah's bedroom which is still extra, there is the upper dorms which goes up there, so if we now go to upper dorms, not upper dorms, hallway upper. All the way up there. so up here we have left recreation room and right which is left recreation room and right and then on if we go to lower we have the cafeteria originally in the game you had to go through the cafeteria to go through the kitchen in the story uh, but it kind of it felt like it made more sense to have a secondary in because the kitchen staff just like everywhere else is the secondary door isn't it you don't have your kitchen staff walking through the front door so that's added an extra guard post guard post storeroom is storeroom so that is oops i completely forgot about that that's that bit done Upgraded, upgraded most storage instances with names, so yes, let's play the game. Uh, right, we'll go to that level one second, one second, one second. Let's go to my bedroom. So if you go over it, it now says John's dresser, or it'll say Sarah's dresser, or it'll say, uh, like in Sarah's case, it is. Like that, so Sarah's bedside dresser, stuff like that. Uh, I haven't done the upper and lower domes ones, that's why I've put most. I currently remember the upper and lower domes, and well, upper left, upper right, and lower domes, which will just go upper and lower for this case going forward. They are like A, B, C, D, E. That is because I need to go through the story I wrote to figure out who goes where essentially because I'm making a couple of extra rooms as you could tell like Sarah's room was never separate neither was Barry's neither was Jackie's well actually they were in the story but they're not in the game map so I just need to decide if I'm doing anyone else's specific rooms or whether I use the rest of the space for like a communal bathroom uh, for the dorms they so upgrade 
DAW Sprite 2 version 3 and stirs the version 2 to origin and destination toggle. I've done the toggle, but it works. I'll explain it. Doors, I don't think doors have changed so much. That process is pr is the same, but stairs comes from the door blueprint you just saw me open. The difference is it overrides a couple of things. So let me just put these forward a bit. Right, so firstly, there's like, as with the doors, there's an exit, true false, fl true false flag isn't there, and if it's true, if the exit's true, then the text is mirrored, essentially the door is mirrored, so everything's back to front because you'd be on the inside of the room, you're exiting that room, so x equals true, and x equals false, then it's not mirrored, you can read the text, it's how you'd expect it to be as you're about to enter the room. I've piggybacked off that logic to do, if you're exiting the stairs, it is a, a down, downwards, so exiting counts as downwards, and not exiting count, not exiting counts as upwards, so just piggybacking off it, so I don't need to create like, you know, I don't want to create a whole extra blueprint with all this extra stuff that feeds into the game instance with a whole extra thing and have it somehow use these variables, swap them out for stairs versus door, you know, all, all these sort of all that extra work when I could just make it come off door blueprint and then just tweak its parent code. Then when you're in range, rather than you having to press interact which technically you could press interact i've left it there but because the moment you're in range it's gonna it's gonna flag true it's gonna run that as if you pressed e to change the level by default so so stairs you walk to the stairs and it'll it'll trigger it that's all the same that's all the same the only difference is that is blank but I have it, it's not just a door transition level really, I should just change it to transition level now that it's doors and stairs. So it goes like that, and then, there we go, yeah, it sets the door transition level based on the exit, rather than all just being door transition level. So that's that one. Additional background sprites. So as, as you saw, I, well, let's start with the main hallway. This was originally, imagine cutting it in half, the left side of, the middle to the left side of, oh, I can't draw a line, where Dorms is, and then to the left. Imagine that is one whole portion, and originally that was copied and pasted to do this section. Now it's one single unit. I've, it was also manually scaled up with like a 0 0.25 on the old way. Now it's a 1, so I've scaled it up in Photoshop rather than putting it in and then stretching it. I've also created like an up and a down section here. I could really change it to the, to the other stairs now, but that'll do for now. So the up and down section, and then if you keep an eye up, look at the, remember the beam. Go here, and there you go. So it's the carry on section of that, goes through here. And then just like the lower, just like the lower beam, it carries on and it goes through like that. They're the additional hallway sprites, hallway lower assets, so mostly stairs version 2 and the background and a couple of other clever little things. So as you can see, that is a 2D plane, that is the stairs, I need to line them up perfectly, they don't work perfect just yet because that normal map darkens the edges and that's why it's doing that. But you see, it gives the 
is like a transition so it looks like it's one full level but it's not that image is just an image that is the hidden path on top of the stairs so you're actually walking on that but it's invisible in game that is the trigger so when you walk to that it triggers it and it's the same for upper this is just uh, like a rotated version of it like the upper and lower are very 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 similar cousins almost or siblings pretty much so i've done that for this for lower it wasn't too bad but for upper i needed to do something a bit clever so this is a version two version three is really really good looking version four is the final polish so yeah because it's version two as you can imagine it's not perfect yet similar sort of process except i created these like additional sprites if i get them here like the transitions that one that one so it transitions for the upper so that is a transition from the door blueprint to the plane and yeah depending on how you look see this is where i might come and stuck when i have the orthographic branch which is the next one the camera projection type depending on how you look depends on how it is if i play it You can only really tell at the bottom here, but apart from that, you know what I mean? It looks, it looks pretty good. Like, you can't really tell. It's nice and nice and tidy. So that's that. Those are the extra assets. Store sprite, uh, store, <laughs> stairs sprites version 2. Version 1 looks, I don't, I can't remember where I can put version 1. Let's try. Um, walls no stairs there we go version one was it was a very 2d profile and then that, that plane that allowed allowed you to walk on it version three well that's version one and version not transition not transition level background this is why i can't remember where i put, put everything because i've done so much at once Oh, that's version one. Oh, I can't remember. It's in here somewhere. Items, stairs, there. There we go. As, as you can see, it's in two separate places. It was something to do with me moving the folders, and there's a levels folder, and then like a couple of other folders which almost like it's copied itself rather than moved it and I need to I'll, I'll, I'll tweak it, I'll tidy it up in a bit so it's nothing special it's just that and then yeah and then just chop it up into bits and pieces like like so that's the stairs create step their door blueprints yeah so use the door blueprint you already saw that uh, the only the only thing special is i i override it here and i just just set it up there to override so you see like that you put that against the wall and you go you go oh, okay so it stairs but in reality it's it's flat yeah, trickery, you know, 2.5D trickery stuff. Update player uh, starts and door blueprints. Yes, so all these levels you see in different places, I had to go into the levels and get them to point to... Instead of hallway, it would be hallway higher or hallway lower. Instead of saying hallway level, it would be hallway higher hallway upper, hallway lower level, sorry, it used to be higher, and then I just made everything upper to go about the dorms. The sprite, the uh, player starts, yep, they need to be like hallway upper and hallway lower. So all those sort of little tweaks, just so it opens up where you expect it to. The animations, yes, so originally, 
door transition level is a single door, right? Or depending on whether you do, don't need stairs or wood, don't need that one. I know, I'll just keep it for now so it doesn't break anything. Yes, um, it's a single, it's a single level and it, it does the animation and whether it's an exit or not an exit depends on how whether that's like reversed and you know how it how it changed like you see the pivot point is there so that so if i went to rotate it it would rotate as if i'm opening the open the door the handle's on the right and i'm pushing it through the reason why it doesn't look right is because it, it it's on begin play it flips the sprite so that's the the Resident Evil doll transition, as I like to call it. I had to do two separate ones. There will be a way to do a single one, but I just wanted to make it separate for now. So don't worry about that, that's never seen. We have a downwards one, and we have an upwards one. Like that. The reason why... Uh, the reason why they're two separates is because that is a sprite. Meanwhile, the other thing was a, the door one was a blueprint, and I feed that blueprint information in. Meanwhile, the stairs blueprint isn't head on, is it? It's sideways. So I could create an extra sprite option as a Boolean, and when it's an exit, change the sprite to um, downward. If it's not an exit, change the sprite to upwards. So this one. That will be a further level. Right now, I just want to split it up because if I just show you all the all the nonsense you have, I have to do. Um, so stairs upwards sequence on stairs upwards level. That is something to really remember. You go. You don't want to overwrite them. Silent. So click on that. Click on that, and you see it goes up, it goes down. You never really see that bit because it cuts off on just three seconds. So this is very much like a draft. So I've got a control like the the up and down on the Z axis and on the downward one. I also play around with the pitch because almost like you're looking down. So that's so that's the downward for the downward and the upward. That was the upward for the upward and this one is downward for the downward. Bear in mind to only you could open the upwards logic so the camera moves as if you're going in the upwards level in the downwards and you, you have to be really careful to not overwrite it a bit like ones it's almost like sprites and flip books where i don't know how to describe it you can make a sprite you can make a flip book of 10 sprites but obviously you want to be very cautious about which 10 sprites you want because you don't want 10 in, t any 10 sprites do you? you want 10 specific sprites it's like that you can create i can create many levels and use all the sequences in these levels like sprites to flip books but i need to be specific about which level i want to load up and which sequence i want to load up to get the perfect outcome so this is downward so you see i play around with the pitch a little bit of the the yaw like that's so very much first run all very smoke and mirrors fancy fancy so that's the down that's the ascend and descend segment hallway you saw i segmented it create the hallway level lower level yep yep and adjusted the roof sprites so after i show you this one i will run it so you can see everything i'll just open up hallway you see there's no roof anymore got rid of the roof for all of them one because oh, i have to angle the roof because you bear in mind I'm, I'm not doing a true orthographic am i like well i'm not doing a 2d am i i'm kind of the way i've got this effect is i've got the 2d camera i'm pointing at the screen right now but then i've tilted the camera on a spring arm connected to this player at 10 degrees upwards so like you're 10 degrees positive 15 degrees and that's how it gives it this slight 2.5 day um that's not illusion really it's kind of an illusion so i had to do the 
the roof at a slight angle, like a 10 degrees, 15 degrees angle. So then it looks, it looks like a flat roof, but it's not a flat roof. It's just flat because you're looking at it from the angle. Um, so yeah, I got rid of that because yeah, doing a, doing a slight rotation on the roof on a flat thing's fine. If you're doing a slight rotation on a roof on the flat element that then goes to that, you can't just rotate it upwards. There's loads of extra variables you need to tweak. And then I realized when you go to orthographic, you know, if you go to perspective, sorry, if you want to do the perspective projection type, which I'll be doing in the next branch, it's just an extra nightmare. Meanwhile, now it's quite clean. So what I'll show you now is the upwards and the downwards logic. So let's firstly go up. So then you've got that, you've got that, there you go, you've got your up, you've got your down. It's a little bit janky on the down because, like I said, you have to be careful which sequence you tweak. I tweak the wrong sequence in wrong level to sequence match and I had to redo it. This is very much a first run of the stairs. This is really good because then off the back of this I could, I don't know, like, I guess the next sequence I really need to do will be there be a vent sequence at some point, but that is in that is in Act One, so I don't need to do that yet. He's bloody done it again. All right, I'm going to look at this. It's this. This is not this size, and it keeps on reimporting itself as the bigger size, and it's the only room that's doing it. So I'm going to look at fixing that. I literally fixed it. You know, why don't we just look at it now? No pressure. Go here. I refresh. Yeah. Re import that. Let's have a look. Oh, does it tell me how many pixels? Oh, here we go. 280 by 95. That's 280 by 95. Sometimes that, that triggers it again. You know what we'll do? Let's save it. Save that. Save the full thing. Let's load up that other level and then go back to it. If this doesn't work, I'll fix it offline. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, so let's fix it for now. I bet I'm just odd, very odd. Um, but yeah, that, that's it for this branch. Um, like I said, the only thing left will be, let's, let's get that up sideways. Right, so, Act 1 has a vent section, so I'll need to do a transition there. Act 2 onwards also has a elevator, oh, lift sections so there's there's a couple of tweaks to do and oh there's a there's an airlock section as well i'll have to do so those those will really be the only other tweaks for the lab bit i've already got if i close that uh, last thing i'll show you so i don't keep you too long i've already got a sliding door logic doesn't do anything right now um, so that'll be another transition, I'll have to have the door, um, slide open. Hmm, a couple of ways I could do it. Something to think about. I also think, going forward, that, oh, I don't, I don't know if I should do it or not. The Resident Evil doll transition, it only ever shows you the door, doesn't it? It doesn't show you the walls, uh, connected to the door. 
I think I will just keep it as the door actually because then it's center points your like focal point like of interest is on the middle rather than just showing your wall with the door opening okay so ignore me that is hallway two done the next element you know what we should do should we have a little look and see what happens before I properly code it John camera perspective how does it look okay ah oh, the stairs aren't gonna look right are they nah so this is something I need to think about with going forward oh, filthy zombies let's try and get around him See how this one, I don't think this will look right either because I've done something funny with the bed. There's also no ambient lighting when you do perspective, like just weird stuff like that. Okay, so the bed kind of does look alright. Kind of. Yeah, so the stairs, we're going to have to think of the stairs. Let's just see how it looks on the upper one. Yes, it's going to be a, a challenge. Alright, so that doesn't look too bad. The main difference is, it's because I have I drew it, and then I created the sprites as an overlay. So this, yeah, I've got to mention it. This is one of the things I'm thinking of to do with how I get it to work. Right now, I've mostly drawn the floors. And except from the stairs, oh, well, no, right now I've made the floors as planes, haven't I? You know, those 2D planes like this one right now, like this one. Except from the stairs where I've, I've done like an overlay of like I've drawn the floor and then I've overlaid it with a plane. I am thinking whether I do both. And I, like, and I do some sort of clever level blueprint toggle. So like the level blueprint in, like here, open level blueprint. And I have something to say if the person's using perspective, load up all the levels where I've drawn the floors and I've, and I've done like invisible, invisible floors to mimic where the draw, you know, like I've done that visible plane. Or if you do orthographic, have it where you've just got the floors like this that's something i need to think of um i really do like perspective oh yeah this is the let's make it really bright oh, let's make your eyeballs come out come on now i need to fix that run it's something to do with it going to the game instance now let's like that it didn't do any good yeah you see you can see i've updated some of the walls as well so that they're not well that one overshoots a little bit but at least it's like the right height so it is something to think about the next branch after this one that'll be what well, i'm technically working on now mm, will be interesting i will go about it so let's just knock that off for now back towards the graphic Play it just so it doesn't break it. Yeah, um, I might. I think I'll add the functionality in, but I won't make it fully modular. So like I just talked about, well, like I just said that level blueprint swap boolean thing. Don't know if I'll do that. This is a bit of a long one, so I'll just wrap up now. Uh, it's been good to do this because for the longest time. I was like, oh, stairs, how am I going to get around it? Oh, oh how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? And this, as you could tell from the Photoshop of the full map, the, uh, the prologue section, this is essentially the prologue done now. So now all I need to do is do like a version 3 and a version 4, tidy everything up. There's no actual enemies in the prologue, so I could get... My plan is to get the prologue cr 
crisp and near perfect, near near release ready. Um, I'll hand draw the normal maps because all the normal maps right now are not hand drawn, and that's why there's all this like quirkiness. I don't know if I can do specular maps, but I'll definitely hand draw the normals, well, paint them myself. So that's quite a lot of sprites to do. I want to do all that for the prologue, and I've got some asset assets for Act One, Two, and Three, mostly one already but i want to work in that rather than doing like drafts of all of the full game and then touching it up here and there i want to do like a near complete prologue then work on act one and then do a near complete act one then work on act two near complete act three near complete and then do a, a final version four polish on all everything so yes very methodical that's the next one. We've already talked about projection type. Lighting blueprints, talked about in the last branch. I want to make all that all those lighting sprites you see be bonded to the lights. There are lights in blueprints in a blueprint and create parent and children inheritance. So if if there's like I said it in the last branch, didn't I? If if there's like a lights out or the it's flickering and it's flickering one light i want it to do like a like a cascading process so you saw in the hole there's loads of lights going across it i want it to kind of do like light one off light two off light three off light four off. so it's like you know, all the lights slowly going off and it gets darker and darker it's like the darkness is chasing you essentially and i can i can harness that ability create that using uh, lighting blueprints rather than just dumping lights in and going oh, that kind of looks all right nav mesh version 2.0 so nav mesh sorted itself out for that whole actually when i typed it in but i will look at everything because the levels the floors are now narrower so that means how will a nav mesh behave with the enemies do i need to widen the floors slightly um armor so i've got a um, uh, uh, not like item. Um, is it icons? Oh, I'm going mad now. I've created there's too many folders that have been cracked open. Right, thumbnails. That's it. So I do need to refresh this. I don't think that's going to magically appear. Let's see. I, actually, I don't think I did a diffuse. I don't think I did a texture of it, so it might not show. But I've created the blueprint. I mean, I've created the icon for the uh, bulletproof vest. I've created the health, and I want to create a. I was going to do an overlay on the health, but then there's situations where your armor might not get damaged, but your health would, like if it was poison. So I chose, rethought about doing an overlay. I think I'll do maybe like a percentage or just like an armor icon that gets more cracked next to the top right health. Sarah's bathroom. So in Sarah's level, there is another room that I have not done yet. Yeah, um, so I haven't done that one yet. So Sarah's bathroom, and in the communal bathroom, you'll realise that the upper and lower dorms, none of them have. Oh, that's nicer, isn't it? None of them have bathrooms. Some Barry's bedroom also doesn't have a bathroom. So some people got bathrooms. Some people got bathrooms in the room well some people got bedrooms some got the bedroom and bathroom some get communal dorms and the communal bathroom so that's that yeah and those those are the bits and pieces to do if i look at the issues so i've done 296 i've got 147 left to do and it's over loads and loads and loads of branches I guess, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to get to it. I'll create that functionality, but that won't be ready to rock. To, uh, I'll make it 
toggleable, but it won't look how it's supposed to look, at least until later date. I realised I've copied and pasted that. Odd. I'm sure I cut it, but never mind. There we go. So you'll see me soon enough. I'll do lighting blueprints as a separate video before I do the branch, just so people that want like a deep dive into the lighting blueprints. I will do some deep dives into the others, because um, I, I used to do that around the branches, and now I'm kind of doing it all in one. So I'll get back to splitting up deep dives for things like the shutter logic and the increasing the exposure on that like recreation room and all that sort of stuff. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you soon.